This fall comes from February of 1996. My favorite story. In fact, I wanted to do it before I began working at WNEP. The story has its roots in North Pocono High School 1974, where a lefty just wanted to get onto the court in front of a jury of fans. In 1996, the lefty was Palmerton senior Garth Gower. But make sure we track full court, okay? The Palmerton Blue Bombers map out strategy before their game with Notre Dame. On this night, anything is possible, including the chance that 12th man Garth Gower might play. Everyone on the team has a role. Uh, you know, if they don't play during the game, they practice. And uh, Garth is a big guy. He's about 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 and uh, he plays the opposing guy's big guy during practice. So his role is, is basically as a practice player. And uh, when the other guys, you know, get a lead or so, then, you know, Garth comes in and, and shows what he can do. Gower is a six foot three inch senior and weighs 150 pounds with his uniform on. His career high in a game is six points. His career total, about the same. Career total for now or out of uh, every, all years. No, I'm not including layups in the warm-up, Joe. I'm including game, career total for all your varsity points. All my varsity points is about 10 points. Still, when Garth Gower hits the court, expectations are high. Why not? He's playing ball, and you never know when he might get the call. Sometimes you do say, well, maybe they'll be sick today. Maybe I'll get in. But, you know, it's not the right thing to do because we have better players than I do, than I am sometimes, and we need them in the game. Food poisoning and foul trouble don't beleaguer the Bombers, so Gower rides the pine. Palmerton leads by five at the half, and playing time is slipping away. The Blue Bombers have a 16-point lead with seven minutes to go, but it's a little too early and too close for Garth Gower to think about strutting his stuff. Quickly, the lead shrinks, and there's anxious moments on the bench. Finally, with 72 seconds left, Gower gets the word. He's here at the crowd goes wild. It's a great thing. Garth immediately seizes the opportunity and throws it away. With 51 ticks left, Gower drives, hangs the hack, but no hoop. Two free throws. Adrenaline is running high. First shot, strong. One more try. One more miss. Desperation sets in as Garth goes for his 11th and 12th career point. Finally, with one second to go, Palmerton inbounds. The box score will reveal that Garth Gower was scoreless, but at least he played. I love basketball. I just stick with it. But down the line, I can say to my kids, hey, I was on the team. I might have passed up the opportunity of a lifetime. Some memories.